It's me, Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn about how to make a power failure detector circuit with the help of AT51 microcontroller. The language for coding is the assembly language within the microvision keel. And the platform which we are using for simulation is the Proteus Head Professional. So let's get started. First of all, we need to take our transformer. So, this is our transformer. So, we will take a simple transformer. Okay, so this is our transformer, and we just need to do one thing, and that is to change the Henry's of its primary coil to 12 Henry's. Okay, after it, we need to take our sign supply or sine wave supply and we have to change the amplitude of this AC power supply to 220 and frequency to 50 hertz okay this is now after it we need to take one push button for to make the supply on and off so this is our connections okay now take the ground and connect the other end of the supply with this other end of the uh, transformer with this ground okay now we need to take one generic rectifier okay now this is our generic rectifier and its function is to convert AC voltages to the DC one okay so this is our simple rectifier after it we need to take our DC voltmeter just so that we can measure the voltages on the output so this is our DC volt okay now we need to run it it says 4.92 so it's okay so so it's 5 volt okay it's a okay for us okay no need okay now after it we need to take our AT51 microcontroller or like uh, any other AT9C51 or ATC51 both are considered as the AT51 microcontroller okay also change its frequency to 11.0592 because we want to show the output on serial com so you must have to do it okay press ok now we need to go and take our hex file so hex file is there that is called as the commu and press ok also one more thing you need to take one 100 ohm resistor so you can take 0.6 watt and this is our one ohm resistor you need to connect it with the port 0 pin 0 and this 100 ohm resistor will act as the pull down resistor okay now you can run it you can run it and see that what is on the yes it is it is giving 0 on pin 0, 0.0 okay now we need to feed our pin with this with this output of the rectifier okay now we need to see that either we are uh, okay still okay okay now we need to change the 100 ohm to like uh, 1000 1k okay it will be okay for us 1000 and this one okay so it is although it uh, needs to be like uh, okay wait we, we can increase the value of this resistor so we can use it 10k so 10k will work properly yes
also we also need to put ground here i think yeah on on the negative side of this yes so here okay so wait i have to lower it down because we have to decrease the values to 1k now we can see that yes Why it is saying 0.8? Wait, we have to we have to set the value to proper value. So it's 2k, and now it is working fine. Now it is saying 1.33. Wait. Okay. Wait. We we have to like. Uh, we have to increase the Henry's to 25 and one Henry, okay. 1.33 weight. So okay, wait. It's uh, it must be like uh, 12 Henry's and secondary inductance must be 0.5. Then we can see how many voltages we are getting. Is a uh, It is 3.74 it is less okay so so we have to increase the value to 0 0.05 now we can see that how many voltages we are getting on the output okay they are still less okay so wait they are still less okay okay now can i remove the ground and then i will see that what will happen okay so it is 1.56 okay wait it's a 1.46 okay so we can make it 0 0.5 henry and 0 0.05 henry so so now it is five point something okay but but we we have to connect this point with this one so that we can see that either it's getting five volts or not no it's not getting five volts okay so first we have to neutralize this issue we have to generally increase the resistance to 6k Okay, now but after 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 we we are going to remove it we must have to decrease it to zero volt okay so okay so it is saying like uh, so we can can we connect like this okay so okay now it's working properly okay so this is the best way okay now now we need to connect our virtual terminal like uh, this one with the rxt must be with the txt okay so okay it is saying like no power okay no power you can see it because our power is cut down shut down okay now we have on it and now it is saying power pow on serial monitor now when we will like uh, off it you can see it is saying no power no Okay, and like this. Okay, so 6k is the proper value. Okay, again, we will check it with 2k. Either it's working with 2k. So, no, yeah, it's also working with 2k. Okay, although we are not getting signal proper, but still it is working. Okay. Now we will come towards the programming. Okay, so we can go and we can click on project, new microvision project. We can write anything like uh, POW8051. 
fail anything like that okay and save it and here we will write atc 51 atc 51a so yes and yes so it is target source group so we need to right click on it we need to add new items to existing source and dot s and we can write here power or any other thing like that we can add it now we need to write our program here okay so this is your program you can see this is very small so you can write it at your own rather than copying and pasting so okay now you can write it at your you can see it properly and then write it at your micro c vision okay now we need to click on like target and uh, options for target and output and click on create hex file okay now we can click on build target and build source okay build target okay, now we can click on microcontroller and we can go to this and here power 80 51 fail and all this so now you can see that it's working you can write it no power and power so hopefully you got this concept so thanks for visiting our channel